Please, for the life of God, don't ever get a Hillary tattoo. This week's headlines. A man flew jet flu airways, claiming the captain told him to get up from his seat and to sit on that seat in the bathroom. And he says, the pilot said that he flies the airplane and he makes the rules. And you should be happy enough just to have a seat on the plane. Now what I would be thinking, I'm enjoying my peanuts, my drink, but I have to live with this smell that smells like toilet water. I don't think it would be very pleasant in the capital city of Albania, Terrania. The power goes out for 72 hours. Thanks to a cat chasing a mouse. They run into electrical wires and get electrocuted. Well, you're probably unhappy because for 72 hours you have no clock radio. But you don't care about the poor little mouse and cat that got electrocuted on these week's edition of School Beat. A Texas school has come under controversy because kids were giggling in a class. Their German textbooks have pictures of naked women in them. And, and it's saying, it was obvious, naked women, boobs, right out there in your face. Apparently, these textbooks have been in the classrooms since 2005, and no one noticed. And what's wrong with this? You know, what are these Germans thinking? Oh, look at Helga's apple strudels move. Cool, cool, man. Yeah. You might as well have the female anatomy of American Indians in history textbooks. Because that seems to be appropriate. It's part of history, right? to learn about the anatomy of female Native Americans and stuff. Their solution to the problem is putting stickers in the textbooks over the obscene pictures, which doesn't make any sense, because you might as well just get rid of the textbooks. Because if, if I were a kid, I would just rip off the sticker just to see the obscene photos. Because... My mother wouldn't let me read Playboy, so this is the best I'm going to get. This Week in Strange has been brought to you by the L.A. Parks and Rec, providing quality entertainment.